Colorado might be the last place you'd expect to find a surfboard company. But then again, Carve is not your average design shop. Based right here in Lyons, Carve is a two-man team that makes wooden, surf and stand-up paddle boards from local trees killed by mountain pine beetles. Made with little harm to the environment and almost entirely free of petroleum products, its boards are changing the way we think about the surf industry. It's this old world craftsmanship that is being lost as computers get better at designing and cutting and creating. We can't lose touch with our roots and that creativeness that comes through our minds and into our hands and how we can create these incredible surfboards. The most enjoyable part about my job really is, you know, taking what for the most part is, you know, a solid block of, of wood and, and creating these, these curved shapes and lines and within a day or two you've got this craft that you can then take on the ocean and uh, have this incredible and enjoyable ride. I started woodworking when I was eight years old. My first job was working with my dad. Slowly it just kind of mutated over the years into uh, being a woodworker but finding projects that were that much more rewarding. Ryan Whitbeck founded Carve Industries in 2008 after building two wooden catamarans with his brothers, then sailing them throughout the Caribbean. During the construction of our second 50-foot wooden catamaran uh, is where Carve all began. It kind of just became a natural progression of our woodworking careers to go from wooden boats into surfboards. After almost 10 years of sun, salt water, and handcrafting boats, Ryan set his sights on the Rockies. Life is about lifestyle, where you live, and it's either mountains or oceans, so we chose to uh, go back to the mountains. Ryan found a new home in Lyons, Colorado, and fortunately some new friends who helped Carve get off the ground. Ryan's wife Erin located us uh, via our website. They moved back into town from, from the Virgin Islands. She brought Ryan over one day. He was looking for a place that maybe he could rent for a woodworking shop to, to build his paddle boards and surfboards. And you know, we got this little shack that, that uh, has a lean-to on the side. I said, that's all we have. And he says, well, let's go take a look at that. He saw something there that we really didn't, I guess. He said, I, I think I can make this work. He cleaned it up, fixed it up, took some tarps and enclosed uh, the, the lean-to portion of it, and he made it into a pretty nice little woodworking shop. Fairly frigid in the winter months, and uh, even in the rainy season, we had, I think we counted 37 leaks in that roof. It had to get creative, that's for sure. Before long, Ryan moved Carve to a brand new shop in the heart of town. I've always wanted a big wood shop. I've worked in them plenty of times, but uh, it was really exciting to be able to come into this, this empty box and be able to create, you know, wall to wall, kind of how we wanted things to be between our shaping room, our wood storage, our showroom. It's been a fun ride just, just getting to this point in, in the new space. It's just as important to me to, to embrace the environmental side of the construction as well as just the lost trade of woodworking. Environmentally, obviously our boards represent an upper echelon. Um, they're made with sustainable, renewable resources. We use a green epoxy that's made from pine sap. Um, we try and keep our petroleum use to a minimum. Our beetle kill is a huge component of what we're doing. It's here and it needs to be used and it's just laying in waste on the mountainsides. And so we're trying to take advantage of that resource. More than 50% of Colorado's forests have been affected by the mountain pine beetle, leaving thousands of dead trees here on the forest floor. Carve took advantage of this surplus by implementing the pine in its boards a conscious use of a resource that may otherwise go unused. Aerial estimates say that about 50 to 60% of pine forests have some incidence of bark beetle epidemics in them. Between Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana, if we could condense all those trees, it would cover an area roughly the size of the state of Pennsylvania in the Northeast. By carve removing trees from the forest, they are definitely helping to stop the release of CO2 from this rotting wood. They're helping to reduce some fire risk locally where they take their wood. And they're also helping to promote regeneration of the next forest. This wood, as long as it's lying here, is keeping a lot of understory plants and other trees from growing back up. Currently, Carve is the only company in the United States making boards out of trees killed by the mountain pine beetle. Beetle kill pine being right out our back door where we know the hillsides and mountainsides where these trees come from. It's really important to me. We've never claimed to be uh, a totally green company. You know, we're, we're making efforts to be as green as we can be. Wood boards have their place just as foam do, you know, and there's just gonna be certain applications that, 
that a foam board may perform better than a wood board. But for the average surfer, these boards can do everything that you need them to do. Foam does excel in some areas that wood cannot, and weight is one of those things. Some people say, oh, your boards must be so heavy. Realistically, the only time that weight matters is when you're going from the car to the water. The reality is the weight, once you're on the water, really doesn't make that much of a difference. It's a very different ride. It's a much smoother, softer feeling uh, underneath your feet than, than I've had with foam. Uh, the way they absorb vibration in the water, whether it's a choppy wave or whatever it may be, such a smoother experience. The most amazing part is our lifestyle. Ryan and I have always talked about, we make a difference environmentally, we give some great products out to people, but our business pays for us to do what we love to do. At the end of the day, when I go home, I'm not upset that I worked until eight o'clock at night. It just feels great. I smell like cedar. Women love it. It's good. Carve was really born out of the desire to promote that outdoor life, to, to be in the great outdoors that everyone wants to be and waits for these small segments of their lives throughout the year to, to embrace. But what we try to do is, is to live that. More than just beautiful works of art, Carve's wooden boards are high performance, long lasting, and environmentally friendly. Boards that put surfers and stand-up paddleboarders in closer balance with the natural world that inspires us to ride.